Now let's say that your knee is injured. You, you have tears, you have swelling, you have a meniscal tear, and you wanna avoid surgery. Cause I mean, let's face it, surgery is expensive. Uh, these days with the high deductible healthcare plans, uh, you know, many people have a $5,000 or more deductible. So surgery is very, very expensive, not to mention the time off work. Very few people that I work with really want to take uh, six to eight weeks off of work. Uh, they just can't do it. So then they end up living with this horrible knee pain. You know, they can't enjoy the kids. They can't go out and play. They can't do their sports because of this pain. And so what can we do to help stabilize that knee? There's three main treatments that I think about for significant knee injuries. We've talked about the manual medicine, we've talked about the acupuncture, both of those can be helpful. But oftentimes if we can help stabilize the structure of the knee, the body can finally start to repair the underlying damage. And we can do that by using prolotherapy, which is a, a, an injection therapy where we put dextrose into the ligaments and the support structures of the knee. What that does is the dextrose, it's a form of sugar, it's a corn extract, but what that does is that causes inflammation. So it'll open up some of the cells, that'll attract your immune system into the area, that will start to break down that damaged tissue and stimulate the growth of new healthy tissue. That's one very good treatment option. Typically we need somewhere in the neighborhood of three to six treatments, some people a little more, some people a little less, and that will help us get more stability in the knee, get our alignment better, take the pressure off the bone, the pain gets a lot better. The next step up from that is platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. In PRP, we take the patient's blood, we draw it out just like a simple blood draw, we spin it down in a centrifuge, and we take out the healing and growth factors out of the blood and then we inject that into the knee. Very, very, very effective treatment. It causes that inflammation, it causes that regrowth, but since it's your blood, it's a very high concentration and it's your growth factors and those healing factors from your blood that go in to stimulate the regrowth in the knee. Finally, the third option is stem cell treatment. This is really on the cutting edge of, uh, of regenerative medicine where stem cells are harvested from you and they're then injected into the knee to help the ligaments regrow and to help regrow and rebuild cartilage. Again, this can be very effective uh, for, for severe degenerative uh, disease in the hip, severe meniscal tears, uh, and other types of injuries. Mm -hmm.